Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another story time. Today, our story is called A House is a House for Me. The author of this story is Mary Ann Hoberman. Remember, the author is the person who writes the story, who writes the words of the story. This story is also illustrated by Betty Frazier. And remember, the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the story. So the author is Mary Ann Hoberman, and the illustrator is Betty Frazier. A hill is a house for an ant for an ant. A hive is a house for a bee. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. And a house is a house for me. A web is a house for a spider. A bird builds its nest in a tree. There is nothing so snug as a bug in a rug. And a house is a house for me. A coop, that's a house for a chicken. A sty, that's a house for a sow. A fold, that's where the sheeps all gather to sleep. A barn, that's a house for a cow. It is also, of course, a house for a horse. A kennel is a house for a dog, a dog. A dog is a house for a flea. <laughs> but when a dog strays, a flea sometimes stays and then it may move in on me. Ooh. Mosquitoes like mud holes or puddles. Whales need an ocean or sea. A fish or a sna snake may make do with a lake, but a house is a house for me. A shell is a dwelling for shellfish, for oysters and lobsters and clams. Each snail has a shell and each turtle as well, but not any lions or lambs. Lions live out in the open. Monkeys live up in a tree. Hippos live down in a river. Now what do you know about me? A husk is a house for a corn ear. A pod is a place for a pea. A nutshell's a hut for a hickory nut. But what is a shelter for me? A box is a house for a tea bag. A teapot's a house for some tea. If you pour me a cup and I drink it all up, then the tea house will turn into me. And if you get started in thinking, I think you will find it's true that the more you think about houses for things, the more things are houses to you. The cookie jar is home to the cookies. The bread box is home to the bread. My coat is a house for my body. My hat is a house for my head. Perhaps I have started far-fetching. Perhaps I am stretching things some. A mirror is a house for reflections. A throat is a house for a home. But once you get started in thinking, you think and you think and you think, how pockets are houses for pennies, and pens can be houses for ink. How peaches are houses for peach pits, and sometimes are houses for worms. How trash cans are houses for garbage, and garbage makes houses for germs. And once you get started in thinking this way, it seems that wherever, whatever you see is either a house or it lives in a house, and a house is a house for me. A boot, a book is a house for a story. A rose is a house for a smell. My head is a house for a secret, a secret I will never tell. A flower's at home in a garden, a donkey's at home in a stall. Each creature that knows has a house of its own. And the earth is a house for us all. I hope you liked our story today. A house is a house for me. I'll see you guys again soon.